Secretary. Here she comes again. Just two months have gone by since Hillary Clinton left the State Department, saying she wanted to finally enjoy life as a private citizen. But it didn't take long to get her out of the sweats and back into the spotlight. We see too many countries where women still face violence and abuse. Clinton made her first official appearance Tuesday night, speaking at the Vital Voices Global Awards Ceremony, an event that honors women. On Friday, she'll headline a women's event in New York, and later this month, a housing event in Dallas, her first paid speech for an undisclosed sum. In June, she heads to the Economic Club of Grand Rapids in Michigan. I remember when she was a senator, she would get upwards of 100,000 requests a year for everything from speeches to appearances to press conferences to interview requests. But her rollout as a private citizen has all the makings of an agenda, despite promising this just weeks ago. You know, I am out of politics right now, and I don't know uh, everything I'll be doing. But it seems like no one really believes her. Is it really a coincidence that around the same time she's making her first big outing, the Ready for Hillary political action group launched that's urging her to run? On staff is a group of fundraisers, some who worked for her first presidential bid and others tied to her big donors. It looks like what was a definite, I'm not going to do this again, has changed and she's 50-50, so we hear, from some people around her. I think people aren't just getting ahead of themselves, they're getting ahead of her. Um, it really, 60 days has been the blink of an eye. We're talking about an election that's 1,300 days away. But the Clinton watch has left her potential opponents in limbo, worried she would hog the limelight, the money, the enthusiasm. One of those potential opponents, Vice President Joe Biden, also came to Tuesday's event, perhaps to size up her intentions as much as the rest of the political world. Aaron McPike, CNN, Washington.